Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at percentage decrease word problems. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you've been kind of following uh, this particular video series, you know that in the previous one, we had a look at percentage increase. So in this one, we're gonna be looking at percentage decrease. So what we're gonna do is uh, we've got a computer, blah, 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 cost 1,200, it's depreciated in value, sold for 960. So I guess the first thing we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and work out how much money this computer has actually decreased by. So to do that, we're gonna go 1,200, take away 960. And when we do that, we find out that it's actually reduced by $240. So if you think about it like this, it's reduced by $240 and we got $240 out of the $1,200. So $1,200 was its original price and it's reduced by $240. So now we just need to convert that into a percentage. So what we're doing is we're converting a fraction into percentage. So I'm gonna go 240 uh, divided by 1,200. And then what I'm gonna do is multiply that by 100. And when I do this, I am going to get 20%. So it's actually, uh, so if you look at it like this, what we can write is 20% decrease. Now, you might be thinking, is there a faster way of doing this? Absolutely there is, but it's just very similar to what we did in the percentage increase. What we're going to do is we're actually gonna put in 960 divided by 1,200. Now, here's the thing, I'd like you to watch what happens here. What we're getting is 0 0.8. And if you think about it like this, 0.8 is the same thing as saying 80% of its original value. So it was 1,200, but 960 is actually 80% of that original value, which means this item has actually reduced by 20%. All right, because we go 100 take away 80% is going to give us the 20% connection. And as you can see, they're both ending up with 20%, whichever way you do it, and you can pick whichever way you'd like to work it, work with. So looking at question two, we've got something that's actually um, sold for $280, and it was 350, oh geez, I think there's gonna be another 20 question by the looks of it, but let's try it out. 280 divided by 350, uh, that's gonna give me, yeah, it looks like 80%. Sorry about that folks, I think I just picked up another question, but anyway, look, once again, we're getting 0.8 as the little coefficient, which means the item is now 80% of its original value, which means there is a 20% decrease. But let's actually work it out here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do 350, take away 280, which equals to $70. So it's reduced by $70. And if we do 70 out of 350 and if we are to convert this into a percentage, we're gonna go 70 out of 350, and we're gonna multiply it by 100. And as you can see, when we do this, we once again get 20% decrease. And we wanna make sure we write the words decreased in there. As for question three, what we've got is a smartphone that was purchased for 800 and sold for 620. So we're gonna do it the quick method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 620 and we're gonna divide it by 800. And as you can see, when we do this, we are actually ending up with 0 0.775. Now, if you think about it, 0 0.775 is actually 77.5%. So the smartphone's value is 77.5% of its original value, which means it's reduced by 22.5. Now to do this, we're gonna go 100 minus 77.5. So when we do this, we are gonna end up with 22.5% decrease. But if we were to do it the long method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 800 take away 620, which equals to $180. And then we're gonna go 180 out of 800, should give us, of course we're gonna multiply it by 100, should, should give us what percentage we want, this item has been reduced by, so 180, out of 800, and then we're gonna go times 100 is equal to 22.5% decrease. So as you can see, two ways of doing these types of questions. Just like the first one, 
when it came to a percentage increase. Right, for the last question here, we've got something that's priced at $2,000 and it's eventually sold for 600. So we're gonna go 600 divided by 2000. And when we do this, we are going to get 0 0.3. Now it says 0 0.3, which means that this is actually 30% of its original value. Now, because it's at 30% of its original value, that means it's actually reduced by 70% because what we're gonna do is 100 minus 30, and that's gonna give us a 70% decrease. But let's have a look at it doing the long method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 2000, take away 600, which equals to 1400. Now, if it's 1400, we're gonna put 1400 out of 2000 and multiply it by 100. And when we do this, we should get a percentage decrease. So I've got 1,400 over 2,000, and that's gonna get multiplied by 100. And as you can see, that's gonna give me a 70% decrease. So folks, just keep in mind that when it comes to percentage decrease, all you gotta do is you gotta work out how much money this item or thing has decreased by, and then put that out of the original amount, multiplied by 100, to get your percentage decrease. And that's pretty much what you do for percentage increase as well, except in the other one, um, I think your values are gonna be a little bit higher. But um, yeah, and, and of course, with, with, this, with these ones, you can actually do it either way. So you could actually do the right-hand side method where I found that coefficient, and then rewriting those values, that's one way of doing it. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way, which is basically trying to figure out um, how much how much the change is and then work that as uh, out of the original amount and you should be good to go all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching